Assalamualaikum and good morning Sir Fairish. My name is Lukman bin Abdul Jamal. My ID is 012-0200-71407. And today I will be presenting regarding the poster assignment for our English class. The first cause of river pollution is squatter settlements. Currently, squatter settlements line the banks of all the rivers in the urban area. For example, we have the Malacca River. Why these squatter settlements exist? They exist because the land near the river banks are flood prone and the land is seldom developed. That is why it is very cheap to sell and sometimes people can get the land for free. Squatter settlements are not being provided with any sanitation facilities and not even a rubbish disposable. So that is why it is not uncommon to see a toilet being built inside the river or even near the river banks and they are also very responsible for throwing out their stuff for example we have old furniture we have old motorcycle parts and even old car parts the next cause of river pollution is because of the economic slowdown but how can a river affect a country's economic growth the simple answer is the key for economic growth is the clean water why? Because if you have a polluted river, the production of the food, the supply of water will reduce. The unemployment rate of a country will increase. Thus, the poverty in certain areas of countries will increase as well. More and more incidents of dumping toxic waste, even leakage of toxic waste due to improper build of containers as well as accidental spillage. This has caused a lot of trouble to our river. And because of this, our river now cannot perform its natural purification function. For example, back in 2020, there was an illegal factory in Rawang where they threw out and dumped all the toxic waste into the river, which has caused a lot of damage, especially majority to the people who live in Selangor. Because of the pollution by the illegal factory, a lot of people cannot get access to clean water and this has affected the economic growth, especially in Selangor. Assalamualaikum sir, my name is Putri Shaira Binti Hussein. This is my ID number. I'm a second presenter. The third causes of river pollution is immigrants from other countries. Immigrants from neighboring countries have literally flooded Squatter statements in Malaysia in recent years. As we all know, sanitation and waste disposal services are not available in squatter statements. As a result, they are drawing everything into a river, including all furniture and broken down motorcycle and cars. Hence, the squatter use the river void as a source of water as well as a means of waste disposal. It is estimated that about 40,000 families live in squatter statements. So, in conclusion, the amount of pollution increasing every day. The next causes uh, is deforestation and rapid land use change. Due to economic growth, deforestation has destroyed uh, the natural forest cover by repaying, replacing it with exposure factors. Other activities that have a uh, that had a similar effect on the land use uh, are mining operations, construction of high housing, lodging and clearing of forests, highway construction, agriculture estates, quarrying and urbanization. All these uh, have caused a high construction of suspended sediment in downstream stretch, stretches of rivers. That's all from me, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hera. Hello sir, my name is Nandini Murthy, I am BIP student. So now I am going to explain about two causes of river pollution. So the first point is organic waste. So what is organic waste? Organic waste is a material that is biodegradable and it comes from either plants or animals. For example like living stock farming mostly like uh, pig farming. So the owner of pig farm, uh, what they did is um, they can't throw, uh, they can't uh, uh, burn uh, the pigs uh, waste things like just randomly like that because the people uh, surrounded them can identify who buried that or the police can identify. 
So the only one choice what they have is throw into the river. So that's the main cause, uh, main cause of river pollution. So the second point that what I can give is uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So in this COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of customers, they couldn't go out to buy the, uh, their needed things. For example, like uh, organic things like uh, vegetables, uh, carrot, tomato and so on. So definitely the difficulty will face by the uh, farmers because when no one could buy the, uh, the organic things, so uh, unfortunately all the vegetables and so on will be wasted. So the only choice that what they have is uh, just throw into the river because as we know that uh, vegetables uh, will be wet, uh, wetty. So uh, when it's wetty, if you bury also uh, no meaning, it can't bury well. So that's the reason why they throw into the river. So that's the first, uh, first point. So the second point is mining. So what is mining? Mining is a process of crushing the rock and it's extracting coals or other minerals from the underground. These elements were extracted in the uh, rock form, contain harmful chemicals and also it can increase the number of toxic, uh, toxic elements when it also can affect the human's health too. So the mi uh, mining also uh, the causes of uh, acid mi uh, mine drainage and mental consumption and the third is increasing uh, the sedimental level. So that's it from me. So the next will be continued by Falkis. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and good morning sir. My name is Falkis Minti Nazla. My ID number is 0120-2007-2990. I'm from group 3. So today I would like to present Assignment 1 English uh, Academy Arrangement Subject. So our group choose topic about river conservation and the poster title is Causes of River Pollution. So I will explain two point, two points causes of river pollution. First is agriculture and second is hazardous chemical. So I will start with uh, agriculture first. Various source of pollution occur in Malaysia mainly from agriculture, fertilizers, pesticides and sediments from soil erosion, livestock and animal waste, domestic homes human waste, urban areas, grey waters and untreated waste waters, and industries, industrial effluent. Pollution already adversely affects river water as well as environment. This renders river uh, water unfit for human use. This is for the agriculture. Second is hazardous chemical. The most serious kind of river pollution, however, is the pollution by heavy metals and hazardous chemical discharge from the thousand factories and industrial zones, especially those located upstream of rivers. Privatization of treatment of industrial waste has made such treatment expensive and there are a significant number of factories not uh, treating their waste. Some have even been caught dumping their waste illegally. So that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Balkis. Hi, Assalamualaikum to Sir Fairish. My name is Shahida Akila Sabri and I am the last presenter for this group. So the topic that I will talk about is urbanization and sleet roads. So let's just um, straight away jump in into the topic. So I'll start with the urbanization. As we all know, in the urbanization, there's people who lives in it. It's like um, a whole community of people like us in there. So basically, we know that, you know, humans can never get enough so um in each and every day they tend to you know get more sources of living more sources of nature in order to you know live life so what they did is um they did some constructions which caused pollutants pollutions pollutants to our rivers to our life our nature so my point here is um from the construction made by the people in the urban um there are some major pollutants which is left right after the construction is done so some of it might be hydrocarbons road salts petroleums um 
grass clipping their their mindset is quite different as they think that when they chew in the river it is much safer as the trash has just gone away you know they, they didn't know the impacts the implications if they do that so let's just relate from the construction that the urban did the slit road so actually what happened here is um, the surface of the construction contributes to erosion land erosion and then what happened is it creates an impervious surface that could actually harm our river uh, so yeah, I think that is all from me. Thank you, sir. And um, we apologize if there's anything that um, we actually may say it wrong or anything in the content. But I hope you enjoy everything. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.